Hey my sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you had a wonderful Mother's Day and you were truly pampered and thanked for all that you do. I know I was and I made sure to make it well known for Chris and my kids on that day. But unfortunately there's always an end to that day. However, there's always a start to a new beginning the next. So now that we've taken our much needed break, it's time to get back into the workflow. But I hope you're truly ready for all of this motivation that I'm starting to show you. Today in this video, we'll be doing a deep clean and with this deep clean, we'll be doing a small little makeover. It's not much, but I believe with the little bit that we change, it will absolutely make this room look like we've done so much more. Now that we've cleaned up the floor, we're going to be clearing off the desk, putting some things back where they go, and then start working on taking it out of this room. This desk has been such a great use for me, but I was finally able to find the one that I wanted. I figured if I shrunk down the size of my desk that I'd have less clutter sitting on top. Hopefully it will prevent me from cluttering the desk, but I'm definitely looking forward to having more room. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm cleaning, I have to have something on, whether it be the radio of music or the TV to watch my favorite YouTube ladies or my favorite soap opera shows. I'm a full on sucker for Bold and the Beautiful and Young and the Restless. What shows do y'all binge watch? What do you have to have on when you're cleaning if you caught up on your YouTube ladies? I honestly switch back and forth to get a feel of both worlds. <laughs> Speaking of clutter, y'all see these boxes? Remember how I had mentioned to you guys that this is my file cabinet? <laughs> my files, my folders, and the rest of the odds and ends that you'd have in a desk? Well today is the day in this video that you'll never see these boxes again. Y'all get to see towards the very end what we have in store for you and I hope you like it just as much as I do. Yeah. 
You know, I've thought to myself over and over while moving these TVs why I haven't gotten a laptop to do my editing work. Not only would I have more space, but I wouldn't have to sit here staring at these screens all day. You know, I'd be able to move from one point to another. So I have a question and I see it a lot. For my YouTube ladies, what brand of laptop do you use to edit your YouTube videos or is there a specific one I should get? I see a lot of ladies use the Apple MacBook Pro. <laughs> you guys, I'm literally speaking into this mic and Chris is telling me that that's the one. It's dummy proof. <laughs> he says it literally helps you with editing uh, YouTube videos step by step, but I was also thinking of getting a uh, laptop so I can be mobile. That way I can't be stuck at this desk and have my eyes bloodshot from straining. <laughs> Anyways, definitely let me know because as you see me on a weekly basis, you see lots of little changes to make it better for myself. Well, it looks like I found my hidden spot of junk that I never knew I had until I finally had to clean out this spot. I literally have different things in here that I told myself that I'd get back to, but here they are. Some of the stuff I think I was trying to sell, but got caught up and just stored it away. However, at this point, if it's out of sight and out of mind, and you cannot remember having this stuff, that means it's time to declutter and give it to someone who can truly use it or all of it. What about y'all? What's an area in your home that you've completely forgotten about or never used until you came across it because you had to clean it? For those who are new and are just tuning into my channel, I wanted to say hello and thank you for being here on this clean with me. It truly means a lot to me, you guys. Your love, your support, and for always returning to my channel to show the love. However, let me introduce myself. My name is Jessica Savage. I'm a mom to three awesome kids, which are Christopher, Alyssa, and Dylan. Christopher will be turning 14 this month, Alyssa is 11, and Dylan will be turning 7 this month as well. Yes, both of my boys' birthdays are in May and actually had the same due date. I was like, oh no, no. <laughs> We're not having them both on the same day, so I was up walking around and making sure the contractions would start early. <laughs> Anyways, I am married to my high school sweetheart, Chris, and we've been together for a beautiful 14 years, and coming June 4th, we'll be married for 15 years. Isn't that crazy? It felt like yesterday when we made it to two years. <laughs> time flies by, you guys, so make sure you take your time and don't rush anything at all. Chris and I own a little farm out back with goats, ducks, and chickens, and the most wonderful thing about that, we have our own farm fresh eggs, fresh milk, and we can now make our own butter and cheese. It's such a wonderful experience to own a farm, so if you can ever have it, y'all need the farm life too. Now that we've cleared the entire room, it's time to get this desk apart and taken out of this room. I'm so excited, you guys. I've been waiting a long time for this to happen, but I couldn't find the desk that I wanted until a few weeks back. Overstock.com brought it back, but in a single desk and not that L-shaped desk that I was talking to you guys about a long time ago. However, it couldn't have worked out better. Maybe it happened for a reason, like I wasn't meant for that desk. This desk that we're taking out already being an L shape with the little fold out table that I had, <laughs> it was feeling a bit cluttered. However, I have noticed for quite some time now that I'm wanting less and less in this house because less is more. 
If it couldn't be less, then I'm definitely already trying to figure out ways to organize it and for it to look better in certain areas. But I cannot wait to show you the end result to all of this. Okay, I'm going to explain to you these lines that I'm cleaning off of the wall along with the small spot area. While sitting at my old desk, I had spilled my coffee all over the right side of my desk. Oh, it was, it was bad and almost a full cup too. I barely got any sips out of it. It was a really bad day for me and I cannot remember how I did it, but I remember fumbling my hands to catch the cup that I've already hit and just ended up pouring it in the process. I was so stressed that day. It's funny how you don't realize how stressed you are until you have times like this happen to you. Clearly after it happened, you want to cry, yell and scream, and overall just feel down in the dumps. It's almost like I had a very weak moment until I was able to calm down, pick myself back up, and put myself back together. I believe that was one of my strongest days of dealing with my anxiety, depression, and perimenopause all at the same time. It's definitely a constant battle, but I have managed to work through time and time again, even if it's not 100%. Those are the days you just tell yourself that I can do this. I won't let it defeat me. You're loved and needed by others. It's okay to not be okay because there's someone else who understands and who can help you through your day. So I tell this to you guys because if you ever need something, I'm here for you. I understand you. I feel you. I'll listen and do what I can for you to make you have a better day. You're not alone. Sure, I can motivate, inspire you, and do what I can to make you clean, but it's where I'll take the time to make you laugh and smile to have a better day because you matter as well. You guys, I'm so excited for this desk. Clean, simple, bright, and airy. <laughs> That's it. That was all that I needed and for this desk to give me a reason to not clutter it. <laughs> Let's see how long I can keep it that way. So now that the desk has been put together, it's time to set everything back into this room and have it looking better than what it did before. Remember, stay tuned towards the end as well because we have one more little project that we want to share with you guys.
I hope you guys are enjoying all of this cleaning motivation because I absolutely love making these videos for you and anything else that I can do while being a stay-at-home mom. Then once my kids are out of school, which is coming real soon, I can then start adding other new content and add a little bit of the farm life or add it back in. Definitely want to show y'all so much more and my kids are so excited to be in these videos a whole lot more while being out of school for the next few months. However, aside from all of this cleaning motivation, I love to do DIYs, makeovers, declutter, organize, show you the real life cleaning, the real life messes, and all of the relatable mom life content. So if you like all of those things or have relatable content like mine and understand me completely, <laughs> then I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and then head over to my Instagram, Mrs. Jessica Savage, and give us a follow there as well. We share daily IG stories of the farm life, our lifestyle, DIYs, makeovers, other cleaning motivation, and anything else that I can share while being a stay-at-home mom. However, I just want to thank you for being here and supporting me because it truly means a lot. Words cannot even describe how grateful I am to have you guys here. Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe and follow me over on my Instagram, Mrs. Jessica Savage. That's Chris being goofy for you, telling me, here, because he wanted me to talk into an unplugged microphone. <laughs> like, no, can't do that. <laughs> You guys, <laughs> that was too funny. By this time, I think I was completely exhausted and my brain was trying to register and may have lost a little bit of oxygen not realizing what Chris was telling me. <laughs> Chris and I were working morning and night to get this room all set up, which explains us being in our change of clothes. After doing all of the work from morning to night, we wanted to take a shower, get ready for the night because as soon as this was done, we were going to bed because I believe this was about 12 a.m. or 1 a.m. when we finished. Yeah, no joke. We were working to get this done. However, I knew that I had to get it all done with him. I literally didn't want to worry about this room at all when I woke up the next morning. But then again, I did not want to go to bed with it being unfinished and nor would I have good sleep knowing that this was unfinished. So, Chris, the most greatest husband ever was helping me and sticking by me to make sure everything was getting done quick. Alright you guys, that's it for today's video. Sorry about the end part. My camera shut off in the middle of our filming putting that piece of furniture together. I guess it was done for the night as well. 
<laughs> Chris and I didn't realize it shut off either. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for watching and being here with me today. I hope this video gave you the motivation and inspiration to get done what you've been putting off. I hope you faced it head on and shown that mess who was boss because now it is just one less thing for you to worry about in your day. Remember to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up because we're getting so close to my last milestone, you guys. I'm almost at a thousand subs, so let's get me there. Be sure to head over to my Instagram, Mrs. Jessica Savage, and give us a follow there as well. We'd love to have you. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I guess I will see you again right back here with a brand new video. Bye, you guys.